Reed, you did a great job again, as always. Was the theme of the talk easy to follow? Very easy to follow. We all knew he was talking about intentional living or communities or communes. Now, here's what's really weird. This is so weird. On the trip I was just on, we were in Copenhagen, and on this boat tour, they said, hey, there's a place here called Christiania, and it's self-governing since the early 70s, and you can do whatever you want to do and buy whatever you want to buy there, because please leave them alone. So what did I do the next day? We tried on up there, and it was a commune. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very different. Is your speech about you or me? It's about, <laughs> it's about both of us because we are one. <laughs> we are omnipotent and it just works. It just works, brother. This is about speaking after dinner. I've seen this delivered before and the person actually started by saying, my goodness, that was a wonderful dinner. I want to thank the wait staff. That was just a really cool way to introduce it, I thought. And you didn't really talk about being at the dinner, but that's fine. I just thought that was really cool when I saw it one time. You always have great jokes and stories, and you use very colorful words. Here are a few of them. Riding tractors naked. That got our attention. A giant cauldron, or a hot tub, with vegetables and people. Healthy and flavorless, crusty old reed. Something was of confidential proportions, and you always come up with the plane to the Serengeti, which is always gets our attention. And the myriad of accounts. So normally, reed is much funnier than you were on this one. <laughs> I'm just saying. But this wasn't really about being funny. It was about telling a story and weaving in jokes and antidotes, which is what you did very well. So you weren't very funny, bro. But it was very effective for what it wanted. One thing I was very surprised about is you were standing here the whole time. And it would have been a lot better to walk around and pat people on the back and that kind of thing. That's really all I had to say. Great job. You could have gotten out a little bit more. You could have been a bit more funny, although this wasn't particularly supposed to be humorous, but probably your strongest point, besides your humor, is just your colorful language will always get our attention, but don't get too colorful. Thank you.